嘿、hey, ，大家好，欢迎收听这一期的早安英文。I'm Alan， 我是 TJ。我们今天呢，要一起来聊一下 training your pets 怎么驯养动物这样一个话题。大家应该都有听说，美国人呢是爱狗如命的，到底是不是这样呢？他们会有什么样驯养小狗的这个独门秘籍呢？我们一起来看看吧。你很喜欢动物，是不是 TJ？ 当然啦。So why do people in America love their pets so much? Ah,、uh, everybody wants a cuddly friend, Alan. Cuddly friend makes you wanna hug them. Yeah, you know, hug them and kiss them and squeeze them. Okay, cuddly friend 讲的是那种你想去拥抱的一些朋友啊。有一些小动物真的是很让人有那种想去保护的欲望。The great thing about a pet is that that love feels you know, unconditional. That love is. Oh, you mean a constant companion? Exactly. TJ, you 都养过一些什么动物呢 ？What are they? Um, well, I've had dogs, go, 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 mao, mao, uh, snakes, reptiles, 爬行动物 rabbits, 兔子 hamsters, uh huh, uh, so many different fish. 哦、oh, ，他还养过仓鼠，还养过好多好多的鱼。TJ 养过的动物还真不少啊。我们都知道 TJ 在中国养过一条狗啊。So what's your experience in raising a dog in China, TJ? Um, raising dog in China. It seems like people in China are, are more afraid of dogs. Afraid of dog? You mean Chinese people? Yeah, Chinese people in general seem to be, you know, afraid of getting near, especially a big dog. Yeah, dog exactly. 就是中国人，他觉得有点怕狗，就特别是那种比较大的狗，就有点不敢接近。You know, it makes it really difficult to introduce my dog to other people. You like to introduce your dog to your friends. Well, I, well, every but you want to introduce your dog to a lot of people because if you don't, yeah,、uh, the dog won't get used to strangers. It might be afraid of strangers. It might get super excited around strangers. You gotta be your, dangerous sometimes. Yeah, oh, really? You want your dog to just not give a shit about strangers? That's what you want. <laughs> okay, I see what you mean. 不，不过，不过，这这是我的呃个人经验。You mean your personal experience? My personal experience. Yeah. Are Chinese people afraid of dogs because they think dogs are out for revenge or something? 你说害怕狗狗的 revenge 报复，你什么意思啊？嗯，报复 ，because dogs maybe they're like really pissed off. Chinese people have been eating them for so long. <笑><笑>他说有一些中国人可能吃狗肉是吧？所以说，呃，那就害怕自己做错了事情，狗狗有可能来报复他们。See, maybe the dogs are tired of eating that dry dog food. Maybe the dogs want to eat <笑> Chinese food. Hmm? Hmm? Who knows? I've heard, you know, dogs are the number one pet in America. So, you say, 到底有多少美国人养了狗呢 ？Well, according to the AVMA, 美国兽医学会对吧 ？Or the American Veterinary and Medical Association, thirty-six point five percent of people own a dog, Gogo, over thirty point four percent of people who own a stupid mom. OK， 就是说，美国兽医学会的一个数据表明啊，养狗的美国人要比养猫的美国人还要多出那么一丁点那么相比猫啊 ，What advantage do dogs have? Well, I mean, think about it, man. If a guy breaks into your house、uh-huh. and wants to murder you and your family,、uh-huh. do you think a cat's gonna do a damn thing to stop that? 如果有人破门而入，我想想啊。我的猫可能真不能保护我。No, that cat's gonna sit there like a friggin' pillow while your dog comes to the rescue. Okay, dog's gonna be the hero. Yeah, the only thing the cat would do would hold a camera as you all get murdered. That's what that little <laughs> jerk would do. TJ 在节目里讲过很多次，他真的不是特别喜欢猫。So what's your problem with cats, man? Well, I'll tell you a long story, but I'll paraphrase for you. Keep it short. Okay. Okay, TJ 要跟我们讲讲为什么他不喜欢猫了。There's a story that was told by a, a pathologist. Okay, at the American Academy of Forensic Sciences, 
conference in New Orleans. Okay, he is talking about a medical expert who gave a lecture. Well, he explained that when people die and they and they live alone and、mm-hmm. all their pets are locked up with them, something very interesting happens. If a person dies and all his pets are locked up with him, something very interesting happens. If a person dies and all his pets are locked up with him, Whereas a dog will wait several days、mm-hmm. after you die. Basically, when he's starving,、uh, he'll start to eat you after this long period of time. 你养的狗可能会在很多天以后实在饿得不行了才开始吃你。Now, a cat, on the other hand, will wait like a day. <laughs> like basically, when a cat gets kind of hungry, he'll start to eat you. 但是如果是猫的话，也许你在死亡之后的第二天，你跟它相处了可能好几年的时间啊。但是你死亡之后第二天，它就会开始吃你。So that's why you hate cats so much. Yeah, that's so terrible. Okay, but you might change one day, right, and become a cat lover. TJ 也许有一天也会开始爱猫的。I mean, sure, it's possible, but I also <laughs> could change one day and become a man lover. But that's a very low, low chance that'll happen. Okay, 几率还是很低，是吧 <laughs> ？So, what's the strangest pet that you have seen in America? 美国最奇怪的动物是什么？猴子，猴子。Yeah, some people buy monkeys, which is one of the dumbest things that you could do, really. Okay. You know that if you don't constantly stay with that monkey, introduce it to other monkeys,、uh, and make sure it's always stimulated, it'll wind up like jerking off on everything and scratching its eyes out. It's really great. Okay, monkeys are crazy, monkeys, and monkeys、yeah. like to hang out with other monkeys, right? Yeah, but if they don't have other monkey homies to hang out with, then they're gonna go nuts. Yeah, true. They'll they'll go bananas. Ha! You see what I did there? That's funny. 我们知道啊，就是训练你的动物、你的宠物，从来都不是一件容易的事情。So, what's the hardest part about training a pet? 嗯，那要看是什么动物。啊哈 ，For example, for example, training a dog. I think, 训练狗是吧？狗，嗯、mm-hmm. ，Training a dog. I think the hardest part is teaching your dog to walk with you. Walk with you, 跟你一起走 Right, dogs want to run around, pull, and they'll pull on the leash and they'll chase things. It's crazy. 对，狗狗真的是不太听话，拉也拉不住 Now the hardest thing about training a cat, this is the secret. <笑>又要说猫了，他 Hardest thing about training a cat is getting the little bastard to give a shit about you. 是，确实猫是不太理人的，不太在乎人的。But all in all, I think that the trick to training your pet is consistency. Okay, 你一定要坚持训练，这个非常重要。Yeah, you gotta stay at it. You know. Uh huh. Uh, 不要放弃。You know, 加油，加油，加油。That's right. 如果你想训练你的动物，你就不要放弃，一定要加油啊。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当。自动保存啦！我是 Alan，See you guys next time。我是 TJ， 下期见。